All right, guys. Uh, so this is our Seater Beta that we're in right now. It's a Mark III from 2002 to 2008. Um, I guess the uh, the video that I'm going to show you though is applicable to all Seats. Um, first of all, we're using the iCarsoft i908, which is available just by clicking the link below this video or visiting www.diagnostic-world.com. Um, you see it's got a nice touch screen here, but what I'm really going to show you here, um, well, first of all, a bit of background information, we've been getting a bit of noise grumbling from the engine. Um, the engine warning light does appear on from time to time. So I'm just going to select our specific vehicle here and select our control um, engine electronics so we can read the, uh, the diagnostic trouble code which will give us a, obviously a better idea of what is at fault within the engine. So we're just scrolling through now, we're just waiting for the engine to actually uh, communicate with the diagnostic tool which it looks like it's done now. So we can click on to, if you look there, read fault code. And there we're getting a fault code 16555. P0171 system 2 lean bank 1 that's one of one and then two of two it's just exactly the same actually that one that one yeah so that's exactly the same um, so what I'll do now is um, I'm going to show you the O2 sensor which is actually at fault here and we'll uh, show you how to actually remove the O2 sensor. Right, so we're in the engine bay. Now, as you probably noticed, we've already taken off the engine cover. You need to remove the engine cover, which is that thing there. And that gives you access to the, obviously, um, the ignition coils. Uh, underneath there's the spark plugs. This is the O2 sensor that we need to look at. This is the Bank 1 O2 sensor. As you can see, this is the manifold here. Uh, it takes readings from the um, the fumes coming from this particular manifold. Now always make sure that you've, you're working on your engine when it's cooled down. Um, this one has cooled down. Now to remove this O2 sensor, what I've got in my hand here is what they call an O2 removal tool. And the reason, it, generally all your sockets there will be sort of closed around here. And that's um, obviously impossible to get the uh, the tool over the O2 sensor, so um, we've cut the section out and what this will do is it will slide over the sensor and the electrical wire and then you can just put your socket in there and remove it as so. So we'll give this a try. Just put that in there like that. Set your socket up correctly. Right. Now obviously that was quite easy the way we did it there. That is because we had pre-slackened it just for the purposes of the video. But then once you've slackened it, it's just very easy to pull out again. Make sure the engine is uh, cool because this will be very hot. The manifold will be extremely hot. Um, so then what you need to do is just basically follow the wire down to its electrical connector. Unplug the electrical connector. And then you can dispose of this O2 sensor, just get completely rid of it. And then, once you've got your new O2 sensor connected up, feed it back up through here. And then, of course, just slot it back into place. And then, tighten it up. And then take your tool again and obviously tighten it up. Very simple to do. But I say simple. It's simple if you've got this tool here. If you haven't got this tool, it'll be quite different. And just remove the wiring. You'll need to remove, uh, sort of bring the wiring back 
and keep it away from the actual O2 sensor because like I say this will get very hot. Uh, so once you've done that, tighten everything back up, time to get back in the vehicle and clear the fault codes. Alright so we are now back inside the vehicle. Um, I should just point out that the uh, demonstration that we did taking out the O2 sensor just earlier there um, obviously we didn't actually swap out the O2 sensor we just uh, removed it and then put the same one back in for the purposes of the video however we have actually put the correct uh, brand new O2 sensor in now and now it's a case of coming back into the vehicle and clearing the fault codes so we go clear fault codes succeed on the screen there and if we go back in and read fault code we're getting it screen which says no DTCs which means the, uh, the fault codes have been cleared successfully and we should not get any more engine warning lights relating to the O2 sensor. Uh, so I hope this video helps you. Um, as I say this uh, iCarsoft i908 kit is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. It's an excellent scan tool for C8, Skoda, Audi and VW uh, vehicles. It will diagnose uh, lots of different faults in the main systems from engine, ABS, airbags, transmission and then lots of other smaller systems as well which you probably don't even know exist uh, but this tool will diagnose them. So thanks very much for watching and I hope this video helped.